You're watching Bam Dan UK. Sit tight and enjoy. Hey guys, Bam UK. So I'm going to show you a render settings tutorial in Sony Vegas. Now I'm going to show you 1080p and also 720p render settings. So first of all, you want to open up Sony Vegas and uh, only a little video preview bit. You're going to see up here. I'm going to see project video properties. I'm going to open up this, and I've already edited my little um, my little you know preset here but what you want to do is you're going to go down to here and then select the presets now I use this one and then I edit all this so um, if you just want to copy what I put here the 1080p um, here you go so we can have the width set as that that should be default uh, field order and none progressive scan etc so basically you can pause the video here and just you know copy all these settings down I'm just going to flick through them now Guys, that's about it for the 1080p settings. Now, if you do want to set all your, you know, uh, every project that you actually make in Sony Vegas with these settings, you can tick this box down here, and that will just be sorted out there. And if you're going to be doing 720p, you're going to go here, and go HD 720, and uh, you're going to go uh, the 60p one. And uh, you're set. I've already edited one like this as well in 720p. So just copy all these settings down here. Um, very good settings for 720p. One of the best, I would definitely say. So again, you can check all these settings out as I go go through them. Pause the video if you do need to. That's about it there. Okay, so now you're going to click OK, but I've already done it. So, yep, doesn't matter. Go render as up the top there. I'm going to select our own profile. Now, I've selected favorites. Now, um, when you first come to this page, it's going to look like this. You go to main concept, AVC slash AAC. Now, go all the way down for 1080p. You're going to go internet HD 1080p. You're going to customize the template, and uh, I'll show you my customized template here. So my template looks a little bit like this, so you can copy these settings down once again. Now, if you do have a graphics card, I recommend you using your GPU, uh, like render with GPU if available. Now, uh, this is a lot faster to render, and it like doesn't stress your CPU as much. Well, not at all, because it doesn't use your CPU to render if you're using your GPU. So that's absolutely fantastic if you do use that. So now, again, you can pause it and just copy all these settings down. Uh, go over to the audio tab. We're using the bit rate of 128,000 here. Now you can check if you have a GPU installed and supported by Sony Vegas by just clicking this button. And if it says that, then definitely it works. But uh, if you do have problems with it, then I guess just use your CPU because not all graphics card graphics cards are supported with Sony Vegas. Um, again, video rendering quality has to be at best, and then uh, use project settings there. So that's my 1080p settings. Now for 720p, uh, basically you want to go back here and instead of 1080p here, you're going to go to Internet HD 720p. Now I have two um, options saved myself. Now I have the um, with GPU and without GPU. So I'll show you just um, without GPU for this one. Uh, oh, wrong one. YouTube 720p, I think this one is. Okay, so here's my settings for 720p YouTube. And uh, as you can see, I'm using render using CPU only. Now pause the video again if you do want to, you know, copy all these settings down and uh, load them into your Sony Vegas while I'm actually watching while you're actually watching this video rather. Uh, variable bit rate, etc. Yep, all that. So yeah, the settings are pretty similar. The only really difference is, um, you know, if you can use a GPU, then do. If you can't, then use that. But uh, the frame size is the main thing that's changing the FPS, etc. But um, that's it for the render settings tutorial guys um, if you do use these settings let me know uh, they are really great settings and uh, I definitely you know think you should use them but another tip to do like when you're actually making your videos as you can see here I've, like just gone into my video a little bit and it's a little bit blurry if you right click on your video and go to properties and disable resample and uh, untick maintain aspect ratio instantly look you can see it fixes the old blurriness in the uh, video, which actually does make a lot of uh, a difference. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Bamdan UK. If you do want to subscribe for more content like this and zombie tips and tricks, then uh, definitely do so. But uh, if this did help, please like the video and comment. Thanks, guys. I'm out.